what's good developers. It's Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.com back online with you today for another review. This time in the gauntlet, algoexpert.io by the one, the only, Clement and Company. If you haven't seen the ads for Algo Expert, you've certainly seen this guy floating around the tube. Clement is joined by Antoine and a team of his peeps. If you're a new developer, aspiring developer, or junior developer, this platform is great, but it's probably not for you. Because what this type of resource does is prepare you to pass a fang level interview and unfortunately fangs don't really like newbies it is what it is now maybe be a, maybe perhaps you're a one percenter in that case this could be a good investment what i'm saying is uh, even though you might find this engaging there are a lot of other things that you could be doing as a software developer working on your portfolio working on your soft skills working on your communication your version control skills your core competencies as a software developer your you know programming languages of choice you could be working on all that um, instead of going through these problems and to be clear you will never use these kinds of problems on the job. There is, a, I shouldn't say, never say never, right? But there is a, a very low probability that you will be using these questions to help you solve a problem on the job. So there's a big opportunity cost. All that said, that disclaimer out of the way, let's get into it. Algo expert, what is it? 90 handpick questions, 60 plus hours of video explanations, data structures crash course included, space time complexity, analyses, code execution environment, solutions in seven languages, experience, back interview tips, and a certificate of completion. Now, what I like about this, what I liked about this site right off the bat before I even got into the, uh, the playground area, there's like a four pane area. This is a really immersive code playground. I'm, gonna, I'm so excited to show you guys. Uh, but before I get into that, the first thing that I really liked, number one, the layout. This is a really nicely designed site. Number two, Clement has a sense of humor and it's funny. You don't see that a lot in this industry, and it's really refreshing that something so serious, so deadly serious as data structures and algorithms, you can that you can loosen up in some areas. Uh, for example, we speak seven languages: JavaScript for all you web devs, Python for all you data scientists, Swift for all you iOS engineers, C++ for all you old schoolers, Java for all you masochists, C Sharp for all you Microsofters and go for all you cool kids. And there's just this sprinkling of playfulness in certain sections of this site that are just, I think, sorely needed in a lot of these, these platforms and in a lot of these other materials just to keep people sane. Because this is, once you start getting into these, it is 100% grind, 100% code, 100% left brain. Just logic, reasoning, cranking out these problems, getting ticked off because your code isn't running, and then doing it all over again. So that was, my first impression was a good one. I may have mentioned this earlier, but I have full access to this platform. So let's go inside and take a peek. As you can see, RTC has not been studying up with these questions, but I have gone through a few. So there's actually five difficulty levels. There's Easy, medium, hard, very hard. And then down here, there's two of them. Extremely hard, like ghost pepper status. Here's your here's your green pepper. Then we get to like the jalapeno. Then maybe, I don't know, habanero. Which one's hotter? This is this is like a deadly airport connections. You know what? You only live once. Let's go to airport connections. So this playground is awesome. It's the best one I've seen. Now, I have fangirled over interactive coding environments for quite some months now. I think they're wonderful. I think they're immersive and they help the information stick and they get that muscle memory going. But this one, I gotta say, the best one I've seen so far. Honestly, seriously. Like, Educative has a pretty, some pretty good environments. There are other sites. Uh, Scrimba has a really cool environment. But as far as the options, as far as the customization, as far as um, just the extensibility, is that extensibility? I'm just trying to use big words so you guys will pay attention. 
<laughs> just everything about this thing. So you have a four, there are four basic panes here, right? Here is the question area. Here is the solution area. Here's your output area. And this is your, your test area. Check this out. So you go down here to the test. By default, it's blurred. But then you can show it with that little eyedropper. Not eyedropper, but pupil thingy. And then over here, so here's the question right here. This is the prompt. You give a little sample input, sample output. You have multiple hints there with a drop down menu. And then you also have a scratch pad. What's up, Algo Expert? Their solution in uh, text form. And then the extra cherry on the Sunday with the video explanation. This is over an hour. Just this one problem, an hour plus video explanation that Clement does. And he does the complete walkthrough. And this is in stark contrast to some of these other platforms. Um, and some people are like, well, why would, why would I pay for this thing when I can just go to Elite Code? First of all, if you want an authoritative solution, you have to pay for Elite Code Premium. So I can go here to, to some. And mind you, there's over 1,400 questions on Elite Code. You only get access to like the peanut gallery unless you sign up to Premium. And Premium is $35 a month. There's no way you can go through over 1,000 questions in just one month. So you're probably gonna go for the yearly, which is 160. So we'll get, we'll get to the price. I'm getting too far ahead of myself. We'll get to the price of Algo Expert in a bit, but just to illustrate, these free platforms, they're not free. The thing that I do like about Algo Expert is that Clement isn't just some peanut gallery guy. Like he worked at Google, he worked at Facebook. Even in this narrative, if you go to the about me section, he used his own platform to study for the Google interview or was it the Facebook interview? Um, he used Algo Expert to prepare for the Facebook interviews. Unsurprisingly, he aced them. He used his own product to pass his Facebook interview. So let me go back to the airport connections. Um, and then the video explanation. So here's your layout. You can also do the try layout. I like the quad. You can pick your language here. There's seven of them. You can pick your editor key maps up here. Sublime, Emacs, or Vim. Are there any more? No, you get those three. You can also go light theme. Oh, dear God, make it stop. You can also change your syntax highlighting. So solarized dark. Ooh, ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like that one too. You can go into whiteboard mode. And this is just going to give one extra layer of torture to you because all this text is going to go white. So no syntax highlighting to help you out. Um, additional settings right here. You have a stopwatch and a bug report. And then you have your custom output again and your raw output right there. And if I ran it, it's gonna throw some errors because my submission failed because I didn't type anything. And uh, yeah, I don't have any other solutions here. So there's 90 questions spanning 14 categories. Can you actually, let me go back in here, explore the questions here because you can, you can group them. You can group them by difficulty, but you can also group by category. And then if you really wanna just throw yourself upside down, just hit group randomly and you can attack them by columns. So Elgo Expert is 85, Elgo Expert and Systems Expert is 125, and that is a lifetime license. So it's not month to month, it's not year to year. You buy it once, you never pay for it again. This is actually something you see less and less of. People are really going to that subscription model because they want your money month after month. Uh, but with this one, it's just one time, you get the license for life. There's also a data structures crash course. So if you're wondering where to start, you need to have that big old refresher. You can go ahead and take this. Again, Clement is the one in charge of this. There are 13 different lessons here, starting with the intro, what are data structures, going all the way down to trees. And this is just, again, a really, a really nicely designed site. It's nice and clean, even though there is a ton of information in here. It is, it is pretty well organized. This is a really common question right here, palindrome check. I've seen this so many times. Write a function that takes in a non-empty string and that returns a Boolean representing whether the string is a palindrome. A palindrome is defined as a string that's written the same forwards and backward, like radar. Note that single character strings are palindromes. So again, same type of format here and even a section that shows you optimal space and time complexity. There are multiple solutions offered here and then one big video explanation. Even this palindrome, 30 minute explanation. That really, I think that's what puts this platform ahead. There are other things too that I've talked about that just put it a, a, a step ahead of most of these, if not all the other ones I've seen. 
um, going back to Leet Code, they don't have videos. So if you enjoy that type of explanation where somebody who knows what they're talking about can walk you through it, this is a great platform. I want to sign off though with a word of warning. This is a very easy platform to get sucked into. So if you don't have your sights set on a FANG level company or a company that interviews like a FANG, don't invest in this platform just yet. It's going to be an, it's going to be a big time sink. Uh, even though I, I really like it. it. It is it is for a specific audience. And I know how tempting it is because like, ooh, look at all this code. I can learn all these things. This is showing you how to pass an interview. Just like it says right here, the ultimate resource to prepare for coding interviews. And I think it delivers as promised on the signing page. Developers, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, share this video, tell the world that RTC is here. And I'll see you in the next video.